Hi guys, Eric Pathy here at PickDogs.com. I had some client text me today. He was a member last season in baseball and he's still a member now because basically once I have you, I keep you if you're a serious player. He asked me about the rule of 10 and he wanted to know the distinction between consecutive or a series. So let me break down the rule of 10 for you. Again, class is in session. Grab a pen, grab a paper. And if you didn't listen to the radio show on Wednesday, it is now archived online. The rule of 10 as follows is this. It is extremely hard to win 10 games in a row or lose 10 games in a row. Now, a lot of people modify this by looking at the streak of the last 10. I do not. So, for instance, the Chai Sox, the Chicago White Sox, have lost seven games in a row, but they're one in nine in their last 10. But in terms of consecutive losses, they have lost not seven games in a row, not nine games in a row. So what I do is I play the percentages. It is extremely hard to lose or win 10 games in a row. At the time of this recording, the current streaks in baseball on the losing side are the Chai Sox have lost seven games in a row. The Houston uh, Astros have lost five games in a row. They are two and eight in their last 10, but again, consecutive five games. The winning streaks, they don't even exist. I mean, nobody's really... The biggest winning streaks are knocked at four games. Minnesota's won four games in a row, but they're five and five in their last 10. And the Dodgers, who are still useless to wager on, are have won four in a row, and they're five and five in the last 10. So, the system is, you're playing the percentages that a team is not going to win 10 games in a row or lose 10 games in a row, forget about what they've done in the last 10. It can confuse you. What you're doing is you're playing the 30% scenario that if the White Sox have lost seven games in a row, are they actually going to lose the next three games in a row to actually be 0 in 10 in their last 10? It usually doesn't happen. I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm not. I'm saying statistically, you are in a position of strength because you're getting large prices in your pocket taking the team that is literally on the losing streak because the public is going to do the other side. They're not only going to take the favorite on the other side, they're going to lay that run line, which is the worst bet in all of baseball. So without further ado, what's your complimentary selection overnight? The Chai Sox plus 250 against the Rays to see if they're going to snap their seven-game losing streak. Now, let's say they lose again. Let's say the, the Rays lose again. I mean, win. And they're 0-8. And Bet them again. The next day, you're going to get $200 or more. Just bet them again. On the eighth game, let's say they lose. Well, now you're down two units because you're betting the dogs. You've risked $100 on the White Sox to win 250 You lost it. Let's assume the next night you've uh, risked, so now they're 0-8. The next day you risk $100 to win 250 You lose it. They're 0-9. Now, on the 10th game, they're going to definitely be getting more than 250 or 250 It's just about $100. You win it. If they don't complete that 10-game series, you're up money going one and two. Now, don't get me wrong. You could watch this video and go, Eric doesn't know what he's talking about, and the White Sox could lose 18 games in a row, 20 games in a row. Anything is possible. But what you're playing is statistics and you're playing percentages. Your complimentary selection is the Chai Sox to see if they can stop their seven-game losing streak at a huge plus price. 775-636-7676. One week is a nickel. One month is a dime. Full all access to sharp trading. Two dimes a week, four dimes a month. And if you're a seriously high volume better, call me and say, let's chat about our other services. Have at least a 25, 30, 40, 50, $100,000 bankroll to be working with. Good day and good luck.